Hey guys, today we are in Acts chapter 18, verses 18 through 28. There's two things I want to talk about with these verses today, knowledge and legacy. We meet Apollos, who is described as eloquent and competent in the scriptures. He is said to be fervent in the spirit and spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, even though it's mentioned that he didn't really know that much. When you hear the phrase, fervent in the spirit, what comes to mind? For me, it's one of those amazing speakers that's animated as they talk, walking all over the stage, waving their hands in the air, pointing at the crowd, taking long, dramatic pauses. I can picture Apollos doing this for the crowds in Ephesus. But then there's that last part of verse 25 that says, even though he was accurate, he didn't know much, and it didn't stop him. How many times have you, you or I hesitated to speak the word of God to those around us because we don't feel like we know much or have all the answers? It didn't stop Apollos, and it shouldn't stop us. As long as you are accurate in what you do know, speak the word of God to those around you. The second word I want to talk about is legacy. In the first part of this section, verses 18 through 23, we meet Priscilla and Aquila. They sailed with Paul, and you can imagine what that trip must have been like. Paul had a captive audience on a ship that couldn't go anywhere, and he loved having a captive audience. Priscilla and Aquila then appear in verse 26, and they teach Apollos more about the scriptures and grow him in knowledge. Then he decides to travel out of Ephesus and was encouraged by fellow believers and welcomed by the disciples, and we see that he, quote, greatly helped those who through grace had believed, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. Paul to Priscilla and Aquila to Apollos to the masses. You don't have to do it alone. Paul left a legacy with the people he encountered and then moved on, but his teaching stayed in the city and grew through others. We as staff members here depend on you as brothers and sisters in Christ to spread the word of God. We have a saying at South Rock, every member a minister. This is what that looks like. From us to you to your neighbor. From us to you to your coworkers. What legacy are you leaving? What's holding you back from sharing the gospel? Now is the perfect time to spread the love of Jesus. You don't have to know everything. Start with how he loved. It's a much needed message right now. Thanks for joining us again today. Have a great day, guys. And remember to shine the light of Jesus to those around you.